Welcome back to today's home hand from Border Home Inspection. I was thinking about um, mold and how I get a lot of calls, especially lately, about mold, and I just wanted to talk about it a little bit here. So, at the current time, I'm walking through the house right now in the basement looking for moisture and mold problems, and uh, I've, I've seen a couple of things in this basement. I just wanted to talk about what I'm seeing, and maybe some of you will gather some information that might be helpful to you as a result of this video. So. Let's have a look. So in this basement you can see that there's some mold-like growth on the drywall here. So why do I call it mold-like growth? That's what I want to talk about first. Um, I'm looking at this, it's green. People call me, well, is it black mold? Well, there's all kinds of molds, all colors of molds, and some are harmful, some are not so harmful, some are harmful to some people and not others. But what I want to point out here is that as a home inspector I can see this material on the drywall but I can't say it's mold because I'm not a mycologist. I don't know a hundred percent for sure that it's mold so I call it mold-like growth. It's common to see mold grow like this and when I send it to a lab to have it tested oftentimes it will come back and say that it is a certain species of mold or um, if I do air testing in the air it might come back and say that there's mold spores in the air that are above the average or above normal and there's always going to be mold in the air by the way so don't uh, if someone tells you you got 10 spores of mold in you per cubic meter in the air that's not a big number I mean that's pretty common you could see 200 is common on some days so and you'll have to watch my other video to, to uh, on mold that I did to understand what I'm talking about there so why would mold grow on this but not necessarily on this so on concrete, mold doesn't grow well. Mold needs moisture and it needs a substance to grow on uh, to basically get a foothold. So it doesn't grow very well on concrete. You'll find that in some situations you might have a little bit of mold. Like if I take a tape sample of that black stuff right there and send it to a lab, it might come back and say that it has some Aspergillus penicillin in it or something. Um, but generally speaking, mold doesn't grow well on concrete and it probably will only grow there if there's a, a fair amount of dust and debris sticking to the concrete. So if somebody tells you, oh, you're black, you got black stuff all over your concrete wall, chances are it's not mold. I have seen situations where home inspectors have called it mold, and I went there and looked at it and realized that it was a coal chute, and it was coal dust on the walls. Um, so it's, it's unlikely to get it to grow on concrete. Now, in a room like this, where you've got a cold room and you open the door uh, you can really smell mildew in here. A really common place for mold to grow. First of all because they store a lot of food materials in here, vegetables, that sort of thing, and they have cold air coming in which creates an atmosphere where the dew point might be reached in this room and condensation occurs. So if you've got a room like this and you're not using it for vegetables, then it's a good idea to um, leave the door open or make some changes to the way air moves through there because that would be a room where mold could grow. Would it be enough mold to make your whole family sick? Probably not. But um, anyway, there's, there's a lot of fear around mold and I just wanted to talk about it in a minute here so that give you my perspective for it. Uh, again, it's not... It's not the end of the world, uh, but it can be very nasty to some people, especially if you're sleeping in a room, for instance, where mold is growing. Um, and recently I've had that happen in, in a small town outside of Lloydminster. I checked the house for moisture and there was, I don't remember the exact numbers, maybe 53 spores per cubic meter outside. And then on the inside, there was 1,700 spores in a particular room in the basement. And when I flipped the mattress up, it was moldy under the mattress because it was laying right directly on the floor. It's really important if you want to prevent mold from growing that you allow the air to move around. If you put the mattress right directly on the concrete floor, moisture that comes up through the concrete gets trapped under, the mo un under whatever it is. In this case, it was a mattress. And uh, it can't dry out. If you can dry something out within 48 hours, mold doesn't get a very good foothold and it won't grow. But if it gets wet or continuously is wet, it will grow. 
So that's today's home hint. Uh, I don't like to make these too long because people don't want to watch them if I do. So any questions, comments, leave them. Thanks for watching. See you on the next home hint from Border Home Inspection.